Hey everybody, this is Geen here and welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today I'm bringing you guys a Blu-ray update for Sunday, October 18th, 2020. So for today's update I got 8 Blu-rays. Now, so on Monday I, w I went on Amazon and I ordered 2 Blu-rays and they arrived in the mail on Friday. And yesterday I went to Sunrise Records and I bought 6 Blu-rays from there. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say, so I'm just going to go ahead and start the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And let's start the update off with the first two Blu-rays that I ordered off Amazon. So, yeah. So the first one we have here is the 2013 Blu-ray release of The Devil's Backbone, and this is a Criterion Collection release. This is a 2001 movie. And it's a film by Guillermo del Toro. So, uh, yeah, anyways, here's the front. The spine. In the back. And this movie stars... Ed Adorado Noriega. Marisha Paradis. Fernando Lupi. Inigo Garcias, Fernando TLV, Irene Vestal, and Berta Dija. I believe that's how you pronounce those names. Special features includes new restored 2K digital film transfer supervised by director Guillermo del Toro and director of photography Guillermo Navarro. With 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio Soundtrack. Audio commentary featuring Del Toro. Video introduction by Del Toro from 2010. New and archival interviews with Del Toro about the creation of his film. Cuas is Un Fantasma, a 2004 making of documentary. Interactive Director's Notebook, for deleted scenes with commentary by Del Toro. New interview with scholar Sebastian Faber about the film's depiction of the Spanish Civil War. Program comparing Del Toro's thumbnail sketches and Carlos Guillermo's storyboards with the final film. Selected on screen presentation of Del Toro's thumbnail sketches trailer. New English subtitle translation by Del Toro, plus an essay by critic Mark Kermode. And those are all the special features. And this is a Sony Pictures Classics movie co produced with Wild Bunch and Sog Pack, or however you pronounce that company's name. This is rated R for. For violence, language, and some sexuality, and the running time is 108 minutes. And here's the, here's the disc. And here's the little booklet that came with it. However, I'm not going to show it in this video due to time reasons. And there's the chapters selection. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but it is a movie I've been wanting to check out for a little while, so I'll probably give it a watch at some point soon. Well, sometime soon, if that makes sense. So anyways, that's The Devil's Backbone. The next one is another Criterion Blu-ray release, and that is a 2014 Blu-ray release of You to Mama Tambien. And this is another Criterion Collection release, and this is a 2001 movie. And it's a film by Alfonso Carrion, who is also the director of Children of Men, Roma, and a couple of other movies. So, yeah. Anyways, here's the spine. The other spine. And the back. And this movie stars Maribel Verdu, Gail Garcia Bernal, Diego Luna, and... That's all the, the cast that's on the back. S 
Special features includes new restored 2K digital film transfer supervised by director of photography Emmanuel Luverzisk and approved by director Alfonso Carrion with 5.1 surround DTS HD master audio soundtrack on the Blu-ray. Two new pieces of the making of the film featuring interviews recorded at the time of production and in 2014 with actors Gail Garcia, Bernal, and Diego Luna and Maribel. Verdu and Alfonso, I mean, Alfonso Caron, co writer Carlos Caradon, and Luzi, Luziki. New interviews w with philosopher Salvo Ziki about the film's social and political aspects on the documentary from 2001. Deleted scenes You Owe Me One, a short film by Carlos Caron. Trailers, new subtitles translation, plus a booklet featuring an essay by critic Charles Taylor and reprinted character biographies by Carlos Quiron and Alfonso Quiron. And those are all the special features. And this movie is in Spanish with English subtitles. And I forgot to mention that The Devil's Backbone is a Spanish movie but with English subtitles. And this is a movie that was produced by IFC Films. Not rated, and the running time is 106 minutes. But I know the movie almost got a NC-17 rating, from what I heard. And here's what it looks like when you take off the, the box. And here's the booklet, but I'm not going to go through it in this video, unfortunately. So here's the disc with the Blu-ray. Here's the disc with the DVD, which is disc 1, which has the movie. And here's this two for the DVD with the special features. I'm gonna take it off really quick. And here's what it looks like when you take off the slip cover. I mean the discs I meant to say. And I'm gonna put them all back one by one. So just give me one second. There we go. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but I hear nothing but great things about this movie. So I'm going to have to give it a watch at some point. Because it really does look like a movie I've been watching that I'll like. And it looks like an interesting movie. So anyways, it's you to Mama Tambien. And the rest of the Blu-rays are the ones that I bought at Sunrise Records yesterday. So yeah. So the next Blu-ray we have here is the 2010 Blu-ray release of The Kids Are Alright. This is also a 2010 movie with Anna Benning, Julianne Moore, Mark Ruffalo, Mia Wazaskiwa, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, and Josh Hutcherson. Funny, smart, and sexy, says Lisa Schwartzbaum of Entertainment Weekly. Spine. In the back. Hilarious, heartfelt, and irresistible, says Peter Trevor's a rolling stone. A generous, nearly note-perfect portrait of a modern family, says Manola Dargas of the New York Times. One of the best films of the year, says Michael Phillips of At the Movies. Special features include the journey to forming a family, the making of the kids are all right, the writer's process, and feature commentary with co-director and co-writer Lisa... Choli Denko. I don't even know how you pronounce that last name. And this is a Focus Features movie. Co-produced with Gilbert Films. But this Blu-ray was released by Alliance. Rated 18A for sexual content and coarse language. And the running time is an hour and 47 minutes. There you go. And here's the disc. Haven't watched this movie yet, but it is a movie I've been kind of curious to checking out for a little while now. But uh, I'll probably check it out sometime soon. So anyways, that's The Kids Are Alright. The next Blu-ray we have here is the 2006 Blu-ray release of Phone Booth. This is a 2003 movie with Colin Farrell, Forrest Whitaker, and Kiefer Sutherland. And it's a Joel Schumacher film. And I know that Joel Schumacher passed away back in June, so may he rest in peace. So yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. 
And this movie also stars Katie Holmes and Rada Mitchell. Special features includes audio commentary by director Joel Schumacher and theatrical trailer in high definition. And those are all the special features. Rated 14A and the running time is 81 minutes. Shit. And here's the disc. And I have seen bits and pieces of this movie, but I haven't finished it all the way through. But from what I've seen, I think this movie is pretty good and pretty underrated movie too. Basically, in this movie, you got a guy who's on the phone with a sniper who has uh, got his sights on him. And if he hangs up, he'll kill him. But I'd like to watch the rest of this movie and get do a review of it. From what I've seen, it's a, it's a pretty good movie. So anyways, it's Phone Booth. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one we have here is a 2017 Blu-ray release of Moonlight. This is a 2016 movie with uh, Trevante Rhodes, Janelle Monáe, with Naomi Harris, and Marshala Ali. And it was a winner for Best Picture. As beautiful as a movie is, you, you are ever likely to see, says the New York Times. Here's the front. Spine. In the back, and his story achievements is the playlist, a game changer and a flat out masterpiece as Rolling Stone. Moonlight is magic, says the Los Angeles Times. And this movie also stars Andre Holland, Ashton Sanders, Jarrell Jerome, and those are the other cast members in the movie. Special features includes audio commentary with director Barry Jenkins, the ensemble of emotion, the making of Moonlight, poetry through the collaboration of music, I mean, poetry through collaboration, the music of Moonlight, and Cruel Beauty filming in Miami. And this is an A24 movie, co-produced with Plan B and Pastrell, and this Blu-ray was released by Elevation Pictures. Rated 14A for coarse language and sexual content, and the running time is an hour and 51 minutes, or 111 minutes. And here's the disc. And here's the digital code. If you want to enter it, go right ahead. The code expires on, on February 28th, 2031, and I don't think this code will work outside of the U.S., but you can, tr I mean, outside of Canada, but you can try anyways. It has an ad for the zookeeper's wife. Excuse me. There we go. And I hear nothing but great things about this movie, so I'm definitely going to have to give this movie a watch sometime soon. And this is a movie I've been wanting to watch for a couple years now, but never really got around to watching it for some reason. I don't know why. But now that I have it, I'll give it a watch at some point. Because I hear it's supposed to be a really great movie, and I hear it's supposed to have some really, really good cinematography. So, that should be good. So anyways, that's Moonlight. Alright, there's only three Blu-rays left, and then we'll be done. So the next Blu-ray we have here is the 2018 Blu-ray release of Lady Bird. This is a 2017 movie with Sarasa Ronan, Laurie Metcalf, Tracy Letts, Lucas Hedges, Timothy Calamet, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Benny Feldstein, Stephen McKinley Henderson, and Lois Smith. And it was written and directed by Greta Gerwig, who also directed the 2019 remake of Little Women, which I want to check out. And it was nominated for five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Actress, Best Director, and Best Supporting Actress. So yeah, anyways, here's the front. Spine. In the back. Flat Out Wonderful, says Manola Dargis of the, of the New York Times. And special features includes honor commentary with writer-director Greta Gerwig and cinematographer Sam Levy, Realizing Lady Bird featurette, and those are all the special features. And this movie was distributed by A24, and it's co-produced with IAC Films, and this Blu-ray was released by Elevation Pictures. 
Rated 14A for course language and sexual content. The running time is an hour and 33 minutes or 93 minutes. And here's the disc. And here's the digital code. If you want to enter it, go right ahead. I think this code will only work in Canada. Same with the code for Moonlight, but you can try it anyways. And this code expires on June 3rd, 2032. And it has an ad for Indian Horse, which I have on Blu-ray. Haven't checked this movie out yet, but the same reason with Moonlight. It's a movie I've been wanting to check out for years, but now I finally have it. I'll give it a watch at some point and do a review of it. So anyways, that's Lady Bird. And the next Blu-ray we have here is the 2018 Blu-ray release of Isle of Dogs. This is also a 2018 movie. And it's a new film from Wes Anderson. And I do like Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson's one of my favorite directors. And I can't wait for his new movie, The French Dispatch. Which I think that might be coming out this month. Or I think it might have got pushed back to next year. I'm not sure though. I think it did get pushed back. Oh well. So anyways, here's the front. Spine. And the back. A Triumph of Pure Imagination. says Peter Travis of Rolling Stone. And this movie features the voices of Brian Cranston, Kiyu Rankin, Edward Norton, Liev Schreiber, Bill Murray, Bob Balaban, Jeff Goldblum, Scarlett Johansson, Kenichi Norma, Tilda Swinton, Ken Wentaby, Akira Itogreta, Guru, no wait, Akira I, Aiku, Aitu, Rada Gerwig, Akira Takiyama, Francis McDormand, F. Murray Abraham, Courtney B. Vance, Yajoro Noda, Fisher Stevens, Mary Natsuku, Najoro Marakim, Yoko Ono, Harvey Keitel, Frank, and Frank Wood. And those are all the cast members in this movie. Special features includes animators, Isle of Dogs, casting, cast interviews, puppets, an ode to dogs, city, and trash island, weather and elements, and gallery. And those are all the special features. And this is a Fox Searchlight Pictures movie, co-produced with Indian Paintbrush. Rated PG for violence and not recommended for young children. And the running time is 101 minutes. And here's the disc with the Blu-ray, and here's the disc with the DVD, and they're just in the boring blue disc and the boring white disc. And here's what it looks like when you take out the discs. Pray for Atari and Spots, which I'm assuming that's a poster from the movie. And here's the digital code. If you want to enter it, go right ahead. It says the code may not be valid after 2020. So go right ahead and enter it if you want to. Because I'm not, I'm not even going to enter it. Haven't watched this movie yet. But it is a movie I've been wanting to watch for a while. So I'll probably give it a watch at some point soon. So anyways, that's Isle of Dogs. And the last Blu-ray. Now, apparently this Blu-ray is out of print, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. But I think it is out of print, but I'm not sure though. And that is the 2009 Blu-ray release of Gone with the Wind. And this is the 70th anniversary edition. This is a 1939 movie. David Zelzik's production of Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it was a winner for 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. So, uh, yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. A towering landmark of a film, says Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. And this movie stars Clark Gable, Vivian Lee, Leslie Howard, and Olivia D. Holland, Holland Band. Haviland, actually. That's how it's pronounced. And the only special feature on here is commentary by historian Ruby Belmer. And those are and that's the only special feature on here. Rated PG and the running time is 233 minutes. So that's almost four hours long. And I think that's three hours and 53 minutes. 
Jesus, that's a long movie. And here's the disc. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but I hear nothing but great things about this movie. And I know that it's considered to be one of the greatest movies of all time and one of the longest movies ever made. And I know that this movie apparently is considered offensive in 2020. Well, everything is considered offensive these days. It's ridiculous how everything's got to be so... How people are so easily offended these days. But that's not going to stop me from watching this movie. Well, I probably won't watch it soon. I'll probably watch it whenever I have the time because the movie is so long and I kind of want to watch it all in one setting. But I'll watch it at some point. So anyways, that's Gone with the Wind. And uh, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment below and subscribe for more videos like this. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. My username is on the screen. And my username for my other, well, for my Polaroid account on Instagram is on the screen. And in the description down below. So anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.